Post and beam systems are pretty self-explanatory. You have a beam typically running down the middle of the basement, which supports the floor structure above. This beam is usually built up wood or a steel I-beam, which is more common in newer houses. The loads are transferred over to the post, also known as the column, which in turn redistributes the load onto the footing. Now you can't see them here because it is covered by the slab. These posts are usually either wood, steel, concrete blocks, all components that have great compressive strength. When we're doing basement second suite conversions, post and beam systems are most ideal because they provide us with great flexibility in designing the space due to it being more open. This is better in comparison to wood or concrete structural walls that run down the middle of the basement and it makes the space a little bit more restrictive. However, this doesn't mean that post and beam structures aren't without their problems. Sometimes the beams affect the height of the ceiling and a portion of it may need to be replaced. If the beam is lower, you might want to incorporate this into the design of the walls in your new space. Sometimes we see damage, rot, and rust on these structural components, and they also need to be repaired. Other times, posts can simply be in an awkward location and you need to be creative with the design of your new suite. So whether your basement space has a post and beam system like this house or a structural wall, it's definitely important consideration when designing your space as it can affect things like ceiling height and room locations. So pay attention to this item the next time you're shopping for a house to add a second suite in your basement.